I am going to show you how to make this easy and delicious two ingredient banana blueberry ice cream. You need the banana to be frozen, so I'm going to take you through the steps on how to freeze and store your bananas, which will allow you to be ready to make ice cream anytime. The first thing you need is a ripened banana. You don't just have to do one, but here I'm showing you one. You slice it up into small pieces because they're easier to blend, and you place them flat on a cookie sheet and put them in the freezer so they can be frozen. Once they are frozen, you can take them out and you're either ready to begin, or I'm just showing you here that I freeze them in multiples so that I have a whole bunch. I place them into a Ziploc, and then anytime I want this ice cream, I can just go and grab what I need from the freezer. Just so you know, one banana equals about one cup of frozen banana pieces. You also need frozen blueberries for this recipe, which I usually get pre-frozen at the grocery store, but you can also freeze your own by laying them flat on a cookie tray, just like you did with the bananas, and then placing them in the freezer. Once they are frozen, you are either ready to use them, or you can actually store them for future use. I use the ones I need, and I put the rest into a Ziploc bag and put them back into the freezer for when I need them again. Now you're ready to measure. You are going to need one half of a cup of frozen blueberries and one half of a cup of frozen banana. You are going to put the banana and the blueberries into your food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender and it will work just fine. If you find that your blender isn't powerful enough, all you need to do is add a little bit of a milk, whether it's a nut milk or a regular milk, it's up to you. About one tablespoon should do it. It will just help it mix. If you put too much, it's gonna be a little bit liquidy, so just be careful with that. You're going to blend. When you are blending, whether it's a food processor or a mixer, you just kinda of keep going. The blue color will nicely mix in with the banana. And then at some point, it's going to stop mixing because everything is going to be stuck around the outsides. So you want to scrape the sides. Here I'm using one hand, so it's a little bit tricky, but you can see it is mixing nicely. So scrape those sides back into the middle of your food processor or blender, and then you are ready to mix again. When you mix the second time, it is very brief. You don't need to do it for very long. You just quickly put it on, maybe five seconds or so, and it should be good to go. You are now ready to place into some sort of serving dish so that you can enjoy it. If you want it to be a little bit harder, then you can put it back in the freezer so it stiffens up a little bit. But I like it this way, and I hope you do too. Thank you.